Now, before you develop a product, you have to design it. And when I say design, you literally have to show how a screen would look from stage one to stage two. What would happen when it gets different inputs from users? What happens when the input is wrong and so on. My favorite tool for designing apps is Figma. This is not a paid promotion. Figma is a design software that runs on cloud. So almost every machine can handle it. It is very easy to learn and using just a few tutorials, you will easily get the basics of Figma. The basic plan is free and that is what you need to get started. And as an entrepreneur and startup founder, you don't have to go through a lot of complications to see your designs and give feedback on them. So when you're making your first tech product or your website, you will be spending a lot of time on Figma. And not just you, your developers, your product managers, and of course your designers, will be sharing their design files on Figma. Now Figma is a design tool, so you can make pitch decks, documents, posters, social media posts, whatever that is that you wanna have. But primarily the core purpose of Figma is to design UI. And you can also make really, really high fidelity prototypes on Figma. What do I mean by high fidelity prototypes? It basically means that you can actually, without coding, make a functioning app where your users can click and sort of see what will happen. So if you're showing your concept to your investors or giving a presentation or even testing a specific feature, without developing, without going through that process of coding your app, you can make a high fidelity prototype which almost feels like a real app and test it with your users, get feedback, get confirmation and then give it to your developers for the final programming. Now let's address some common doubts that a lot of entrepreneurs, startup founders and even product managers have. Do I need an expensive laptop to learn or use Figma? Absolutely not. As I mentioned, it's something that runs on the cloud. It is very easy to get started. You can use it for free in the beginning. So almost every laptop works pretty well when it comes to Figma. Do I need to learn Figma? Now, if you're the entrepreneur or the startup founder, you don't have to go into the complexities of how Figma works. You need to understand how design works. What are the foundations of a design system? But because you don't have to execute that system, all you need to know is how to view files in Figma and how to give feedback on Figma files. So if you know how to access a Figma page, if you know how to play the prototype and if you know how to comment on that prototype or comment on the design file so that your designers can see your feedback, that is more than enough. Next, where can I learn Figma? The best source to learn Figma is Figma's YouTube channel. They have this playlist where they take you through all the important features in Figma. There might be a few videos that you might find unnecessary, but I would still recommend you to finish them, at least watch them. It'll take you around 30 to 45 minutes to learn the basics of Figma from this playlist. I will put the link in the description. But once you finish this video, you will have enough knowledge to get started. What do I ask when I'm hiring my designers? What do my designers need to know in Figma? Now, whether you're hiring an intern or a full-time employee, there are five, six things that you have to ask them before you get them on board. So anytime you're taking the interview, just make sure you ask them that, hey, do you know the basics of Figma? Do you know how constraints work, which is something that is used in responsive design? Do you know how components work? Have you ever made variants for your components? Do you use auto layout? Do you understand how styles and libraries work? And do you know how to make a prototype? Now you can also understand the basics of all these words that I've mentioned through Figma's YouTube channel. I will put the link in description. But these are some questions that you must ask. And if you know the basics, you will understand how important this is. Because if you know these five, six things, if your designer understands the basics of making components and variants and publishing libraries, then that person is ready to build a foundational system, a system that would help your app to scale as you get more customers and as you add more features. If they don't know one of these things, then it is a red flag. It basically means that this person still has to learn. So I'm not saying that you need to reject that candidate, but when you're interviewing, make sure you convey this very clearly that once you join, you have to become good at these topics. If you don't know any of these things, we would require you to research, learn these things on your own and implement them when you're working on our app. Next question is, can I use other tools for designing? Of course you can. I have been using Figma from the beginning. I feel that it has some really cool features that save me a lot of time. That is why I recommend Figma. But there are many other tools in the market, but still Figma is something that a lot of big companies use. That is why I keep recommending it to whoever 
uh, asks me about how to design apps. The next question is that if I want my junior designers to learn Figma, where should they go? As I mentioned before, Figma's YouTube channel, but within Figma's YouTube channel, there's a playlist called Office Hours. If you're getting junior designers on board, if you're getting interns on board, please recommend them to watch the Office Hours playlist on Figma's YouTube channel. If they finish even 50% of that playlist, trust me, they will be way ahead of their peers and all the other junior designers that you meet and their growth rate would just shoot up like anything. Again, I will put the link in description. It's a free playlist. It's called Office Hours. It's available on Figma's YouTube channel. Next, is Figma only for apps and websites? No, you can do a lot of things on Figma. You can make illustrations, posters, social media posts. In fact, my social media posts and thumbnails all are made on Figma. So once you know the basics of Figma, once your designers know the basics of Figma, they can make a lot of interesting things on this one single tool. Next, do I need a pro plan for Figma? Ideally, yes. I mean, when you're just getting started, you can have one file and there is some limitation to the number of pages that you can have in your Figma file. So in the beginning, it's still okay, but I would recommend you to get the pro plan. So how it works is that in Figma, you pay for each and every editor. So if you're the entrepreneur, if you have PMs and developers, they don't need edit access. They need viewing access and viewing access is free. As long as everyone has a Figma account, they can very easily view the files that they have access to. But your designers, it could be web designers or product designers, all of them will need edit access. Please get that because it's an investment that would give you a lot of ROI in the longer run. So you need the Figma's pro plan for, you know, making libraries, for making more files, for having extra pages, which gives your designer a lot of flexibility and the space to make proper systems. So please don't shy away from investing in a pro plan for your designers. You don't need the pro plan as a viewer, but your designers would need it in the longer run. Next video, I will give you a walkthrough of how Figma works. How do you, you know, open the file? How do you comment on it? So don't worry, we will cover everything. I will see you in the next video. If you like this video, make sure you click on like and hit the subscribe button. I regularly upload videos on UX design, marketing and storytelling.